I just want to start this video off by saying I'm sorry. I haven't posted in almost two months now, and that's outrageous. And I apologize because it's really hard to find good content on YouTube. It's rare nowadays. But you saw that I was making videos, and then the content changed for a little bit, and then I completely stopped up until now. And there's a reason for that, obviously. And if you put two and two together, you look at the videos and what I was doing in the videos, and the fact that I haven't been posting, you can kind of draw your own conclusion, put two and two together, and make your own assumption of what happened. But I'll put it simply, your actions have consequences and my consequences have consisted of spending more money than I've ever held in my own hands. More money than I've ever possessed in my whole entire life. Uh, more stress than I know how to deal with, to be honest. Like the most difficult time in my life. And that's my own fault. Imagine, I like start making the video, I'm like, oh, Oh my God, dude, the consequences of my own actions. Oh, please feel sorry for me. You know, but I had an inevitable epiphany just about my own life, my own totality as a human being, the decisions I was making. You either learn the easy way or you learn the hard way. And I found out the hard way. My situation is the definition of f around and find out. I f around and I found out. I just want to say that a large majority of all the content that I filmed and posted on YouTube has no room on a public roadway, especially places where you're putting other innocent people at risk. There is a time and a place for it, all right, in a controlled environment on, prop, pro, on private property with permission, also known as a racetrack. And I know, I know, takeover goons, you're all scared right now, shaking in your boots with the idea of having to exemplify talented driving a little bit of skill behind the wheel. Scary, I know. Having people that know what talent and skill is watching you, that is terrifying, I know. Usually doing the circles and the, roll back baby, roll back! I know for your takeover goons at a racetrack is not the most appealing and fun sounding thing to you because then you can't um, terrorize the people. Well, you can't beat up elderly people. The car is spinning donuts around him and is then attacked. The victim appears to be unconscious. You can still hear tires screeching as he lies motionless on the side. Which is like a fun thing for you guys to do, I know. You can't really do that at a racetrack. I mean, you also can't smack into people. The sidewalk. They don't really, I don't think they allow smacking. Do they allow, you can't smack into people at a racetrack? No, 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 no. no, no. Well, maybe we work towards them being able to smack into people at a racetrack and then it, that's a good idea. Um, I really just want to stress to you guys how important it is to keep it off a public roadway, to keep it out of parking lots, because even if you're in a parking lot, if the property owner doesn't want you to be there, it's the same as a public roadway. So if you have private property with permission in a controlled setting environment, the people are out there. You can find somebody that will give you permission to drift around in their parking lot. It exists, okay? It's, it's hard to find, but good things are hard to find. Go to the dunes. Beat the shit out of your car in the dunes. Whatever it is that you find. It could be your buddy's house. Maybe his parents have property and they don't mind you going and rallying the piss out of the dirt out back or something. Whatever it is. Keep it off a public roadway or I will find you. And I will kill you. You're so untalented and you're out here doing these batshit crazy stunts for clicks on the internet. It sounds like somebody I know. Can I see a mirror? I've always had it in the back of my head. I just was in denial for the longest time until I had the realization. The car community, as of recent, is literal trash water. It's so garbage. It's it's awful. It sucks. You used to be able to go to a car meet, hang out, and meet people from all walks of life that have one thing in common, a passion, a love for cars. You used to be able to just check out some cool cars, meet some cool people, meet girls, or meet boys if that, that's your thing too, or a, a, a they them. You could go to a car meet and meet a they them. And now you can't really go to a car meet, especially not in Washington state without having issues running with police. And if you were to host a car meet in Washington state, I don't know how the laws are everywhere else, but especially in Washington state, King County, Pierce County areas near Seattle, Tacoma, um, if you host a car meet, you are responsible for everybody that attends that car meet. Like, I'm not kidding. If you were to host a meet in Washington state, so it, let's say for example, somebody does something reckless, you would get a charge of reckless endangerment complicity. If there's a public disturbance, you're gonna get a public disturbance charge. That's also a misdemeanor. If people are racing around, you could get a street racing attendance charge. But yeah, I'm sure there's more charges that you could get from just hosting or attending a car meet. 
I just can't really think of them off the top of my head. Regardless, nowadays it's not even really worth it to go to a car meet, let alone hosting one. It's a huge liability. I'd recommend that if you're gonna go to a car meet that it's like a well-organized, structured car meet that's like appropriate. And if you see people doing dumb shit, just leave. You have like the media that covers all the crime and then we have the concerned citizens and everyone's pissed off about it. There's pressure on the police and, and the judicial system to, to do something about it. And trust me, they are doing everything they can and they're charging everyone with everything. Everything. If they have all the seasonings and they are about to cook you, okay? So just, I'd stay away from like the majority of the car community, how it has been of recent. I'd only go to really organized car meets. Also, you guys need to realize like I'm terrible at making like a structured, well thought out video where I like sit down and talk. That's just not my thing. I owe you guys an explanation of what's going on. It's been a really rough learning experience for me and uh, expensive one. I don't want to go into detail about certain aspects of it all, um, but I did want to warn you guys that um, it's rough out here in these streets, man. And so keep it off the street. Just go to a track, go to private property. Don't try to recreate the shit that I've done in the past um, because it, there's large consequences and it's just not worth it. My life <laughs> sucks right now, all right? I just, I just want it to be good, you know? Also, I do have some exciting news that I plan to do what I can to kind of make it right. The fact that I haven't contributed to the car community, I've only kind of made it worse. Um, so I have some ideas of them, some things that I can do. These are in the work. We want to do a food drive car event. We want to do a fundraiser, but an actual fun fundraiser, not something that's just like, hey, come here and give us your money. Um, so stay tuned. Follow my Instagram because all the information is going to be posted. I'll announce everything on my Instagram if you want to go follow that. Keep up to date. And I hope to see... Um, I... <coughs>